Hey guys, Zelkrid here, and today we are here to play some more Killing Floor 2, because they actually, today, well, actually, it's not today as I'm recording this, but recently, I believe, like, a week or so ago, uh, they, they, um, released the full game, so now we're looking at the full release, and just like I had expected, with the full release came the new survivalist class, so I did take a look at this, I haven't played anything, as you can see, but I did take a look at what they said, and this seems interesting, it sounds like... Oddly enough, they get heavy armor, and looking at the classes, um, I don't think any other class actually gets heavy armor, do they? Hang on, I'm looking now. But, if I'm correct, I don't think any other class gets heavy armor. Yeah, no other class seems to get heavy armor, so this is weird. So, this almost sounds like a gun tank, which is interesting. Um, possibly, I don't know, we'd have to see if this heavy body armor works. But anyway, so the survivalist is... Basically, you can use anything. You start with a random weapon, which is not what I expected. I expected, you know, maybe you start with a weapon of your choice, or maybe, I don't know, it's just some generic weapon. But it turns out it's completely random. So that's, you know, that's interesting. I'm kind of interested in playing this. So that's what we're doing today. But before we do that, uh, I do want to deeply apologize for the last video. Well, technically two videos if you watch my now custom app series that we're doing. Um... I went on a little mini rant in the previous video where I talked about resolution and how I had improved things. Turns out, nope, I'm a fucking idiot and I don't understand 4K apparently. It should now be in full 4K resolution. Fraps is not going to work, so I'm, turns out I'm going to have to use Shadowplay after all. So hopefully everything works out okay. Hopefully everything sounds okay. Hopefully everything looks okay and hopefully the frame rate's okay because this is the first time I'm really using this with my uh, microphone and everything. So... Let me know feedback-wise what you guys think ASAP, please. Because I want to know if, you know, there's any problems that you notice on YouTube's end. Because it, sometimes it does happen. I won't notice it in editing. So, yeah. But this is also a new map, I think. I'm not sure. Because for some reason we played Volter's Manor before. And this time around, we are, um... We're not. We're, you know, there's two maps before Volter's Manor. And this is the first one. So I don't know if they added two more maps with the full release or what. I can't tell if that was frame rate lag or if that was just terrible rec No, that's just recoil. Jesus, the recoil. Okay. But that's because we're not the actual gunslinger class. So this is just basically shotguns at this point. I'm going to sell these. I don't know. I think maybe we'll probably get SWAT weapons. Because I think, um... Interestingly enough, I think that will actually um, improve our... SWAT classes, we use them, and still count towards survivalists, which I think is really interesting. I'm not sure if that's how it works or not, though. I thought that's how it is, but who knows? We'll see. Because we can get, let's say, headshot experience when we just play, you know, a a sharpshooter as another class, I thought. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll find out soon enough. Get the fuck off me. What was the button? What do you mean, V? I swear I changed that button. Uh, with the full release, they actually changed up my buttons. So, you know, I'm getting a little used to that again, too. Uh, apparently, they also show the music per wave now, which I think is interesting. So now you can, if you were ever wondering, oh, what's the song? You can just go, wait a minute, that's the song name. I like that. I like that a lot. You you probably say, it. that's just, that's why I definitely fucking said I actually like that a hell of a lot. Now, what should we do for this class? Let's First of all, let's just get rid of these, because we really don't need them. Let's, um... The, we have the world before us. This is crazy. But let's do... SWAT. Where's SWAT? SWAT, SWAT, SWAT. Here's SWAT. Uh, okay, so let's buy this quickly. I couldn't tell how that was organized. I think it was organized by price. I think they also added some new weapons. Did they? Hang on. I'm a little interested here. Here. Did they add weapons? They might have. Hang on. No, I don't think they did. I think I must just have forgotten about this weapon somehow. Yeah, it doesn't look like they added new weapons. Or maybe they did just for SWAT. Who knows? I think I remember this gun, though, to be honest. It's also been a while since I played Killing Floor, so cut me some slack. I know, that's sad, me saying that. Like, what the fuck? What do you mean it's been a while? And it kind of has, it kind of hasn't. 
my video went out like it's probably been a week and i know that's sad but i don't know i'm still not in the swing of it i will get there don't worry it just takes time like i said treat me like a noob like i said in that killing floor video if you just watch the research streams you have no idea what the fuck i'm talking about so yeah what I said basically was treat me like a newbie while I'm doing this, and this, frankly, any of it, like if you know what I mean. Because technically, uh, like I said from the beginning, Killing Floor Two is a genuine sequel, and as such, you got to treat it like a completely different animal, if you know what I mean. Completely different thing. Like it's very much like its uh, ancestor, you know, Killing Floor One. I don't think I used the right word there, but you get my point. It's very much like uh, its predecessor there. I think that's a better word, Killing Floor One, but. It is definitely a sequel, so to treat them like the same game is kind of unfair, if you know what I mean. So, my experience slightly transfers over, if you know what I mean. But anyway, I'm not, we're not going to go down that route again. Um, let's, let's instead talk about, hopefully, this being in 4 fucking K. The actual 4K now, not the bullshit 4K. On my screen, it seems to be running well, so let me know. Seriously, guys, if you see any problems with this video, frame rate-wise... It should be in true 4K, uh, since the FPS. That's what it should be. If it looks like and if it looks like something else, you guys let me know. I'll see what I can do. I'm not sure if I can do much though, to be honest. Cause I, for whatever reason, fraps it doesn't work. I'm, I see the CPU or whatever, but Shadow Play works great. So, video wise, my computer doesn't like it. Cause whenever I try and play it in my media player, it doesn't work. I have to play it in um. I have to play it in my, what is it, my editing program, Sony Vegas, basically. I have to play it in Sony Vegas, for whatever reason. Just to fucking see visuals. Just for whatever reason, media player and VLC media player do not like this video content. They do not like 4K. So, a little bit hard to see. And then, because of my editing setup, it can be a little hard to see graphics-wise, too. I try! Just like basically what I, what I'm trying to say is like I said earlier, just just please. I'm paranoid as fuck. If you can't tell, let me know how it looks. Hopefully it looks okay. I really hope it looks okay. If you fuckers troll me, you're gonna troll me. I'm sure a lot of you are just gonna comment that saying it looks like shit now just because I'm paranoid. But I'm gonna ask you what looks bad about it. So you, know, good luck trolling me. I'm gonna check. I will check. Anyway though. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a new map, because I swear this wasn't here before. Or maybe they just changed the organization of the maps. So now I'm just a little confused, because I swear it wasn't... Because we played Volter Manor last time, and I'm sure there was a reason. I d I, we were just progressing down the list, so it'd be weird if we just skipped, you know? Maybe we did, who knows. Wah! Go away. Go away. But yeah, so far this isn't a bad class. I'm just playing it like SWAT at the moment, to be honest. What's weird is, though, I don't know if I'm getting SWAT experience or not. Maybe for this class they made it so you can't. It wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Because otherwise this class would just... This class technically wouldn't it just get experience no matter what? It's like two, playing two classes in one. Maybe that's what they did. Maybe they made it so you have to play this class. Yeah, experience toward it, and you can only get experience toward this class, maybe. Who knows? I can see this being a very good class, though, which is why I'm almost tempted to switch. But we had already chosen SWAT, so we're going to stick to it to the end. If the time comes where we need to switch, or what I mean to say is when the time comes that we're at the highest level, um, we'll probably switch to, you know, this for custom maps. Whereas we'll use this SWAT for um, the main game for a while, you know, until we have this to the match or whatever. We'll see. If I could beat Outpost with this, I have no complaints about the class. Well, in terms of personal preference. So far, the class seems very solid. I have no complaints, really. It is truly what they said, a uh, jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none type class, it seems, at the moment. Because you can literally use any weapon. And I do actually uh, like this... Like, while I didn't expect it, I do like this idea that in every game you start with a completely random weapon. Because, see, this could actually be interesting. I could just have the SMG, and then as a side gun, maybe a rail gun. Like, you can... This is, like, the ultimate customizable class, if you know what I mean. You can genuinely have 
anything you want and not be punished for it, really. Like, if you tried, for example, um, using another class, like, for example, if you tried being Berserker and you got a shotgun, there is some downside to getting that shotgun. While a lot of people would say, well, you need the shotgun for ranged weapon, you know, a lot of people are like, well, should I? Because it doesn't give any class experience, so a lot of people don't do that. Because of this, I'm just testing that, sorry. But because of that, um, because you get experience with, you know, any weapon with this class, that opens up the road to customizability, and I really do like that. I think that's a great idea. So, I think it's a really, I really, I can get behind this class. I think it's a really good class. I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually one of the more popular classes, just because of how customizable it is, really. I really almost want to go this class, like I said, but I don't want to, you know, just abandon SWAT at this point. You guys can let me know what you want to do, obviously, in both series, research and whatever. You can let me know what you want me to do. If you guys want me to switch to this and see what I can do customize-wise for myself and for the series, well, fine, I'll do it. But for the time being, I'm going to stick with SWAT. I like this map, by the way. Can you not? Fuck off. Fuck off. Bye-bye. Ninja Stalker. Ninja Stalker and crazy jumping fucking spider creatures of death need to just die. Thank you. <laughs> but, um... Those, oh, yeah. Of, of course. No ice map can be complete without the Auroras. But, yeah. It, I do like this map. I, like I said, I don't know if it's new or not, but... I have genuinely no idea because I'm just an idiot. <laughs> Sometimes. I really can be. I am noticing, though, I feel like this class might be leveling a little slower. But then again, maybe not. Let me check. Hang on. So, zero... No? It is the same level. That's... what. Well, why did why did it change? I did not... Come on! Great. Brilliant. I just wanted to see! God damn it! Yeah, well, we could die now. This is great. Uh, buy this. I'm still gonna play like SWAT. I don't care. I'm just gonna ignore the fact that I just lost my shit here, survivalist. Can we please go back? This is one thing I've always not really liked about Tilly Floor. If you accidentally change your perk, you're fucked. You cannot change again. Just because you made one single mistake. You're fucked at that point. I'm sure we'll make it though, I'm not too worried. We'll switch back later. That was my fault. I'm a genius. So suck because now we're not gonna get experience towards the class, but whatever. We're not going to get experience to this class either. Let's see what's out there. God, the mounting corpses. The place is very interesting. I'm just trying to see, like, what's actually happening here. Well, we all know the band name now. Thank you guys for not copyright claiming my videos. I was at, uh, you know, fuck it. I'm going to bring it up here. Um... One of my videos got muted. If any of you have noticed my, my uh, Killing Floor 1 custom maps, that sucks. It really sucks that they muted it. Like they, they, they did, Not only did they take the money from the video, they just completely muted all the audio. All audio is completely muted. I'm not going to delete the video, though, just so you can see the visual content. But, oh, it's so annoying. Anyway, I'm not going to go too in detail about it because I tend not to, you know, talk about this kind of stuff. I just tend to just do it off. But this was a special case. This is really scummy, you know. Not only are they making money off my video, but they literally fucking muted it. Can you not? Can you not? It's it's almost tempting to take it down. You guys let me know if you want me to take it down. If you know what video I'm talking about. If you don't know what video I'm talking about, um, don't bother watching it. You'll you'll see it eventually if you go through my um, custom map series. I the reason I'm not trying to be vague either. I legit forget the map name at the moment. It's so weird. I. I on recording, I forget things like names and shit and all this crap. But, um, when I'm off recording, I am hailed as someone with a god memory. They call it super memory or whatever. I don't know what it is. I think, um, I think I might have the words for it. I think I personally just don't, um, have, uh, I, I could be using the wrong word, but the word I'm going to use is reflexive memory. Like, I'm not the best with on the spot when it comes to my memory, if you know what I mean. Like, when I took a test, I hated those things. I'm the kind of person where if you let him in his own environment, just like natural, I can be pretty smart. Or, well, you know, 
remember things. This is going to be a problem. Luckily, it's on normal. So we can hopefully deal with Mr. Crazy Chainsaw Man and not die. Not dying would be great. Please, fuck off. He does a lot of damage. Oop, there. Okay, I was going to say, are we fought or what? Oh, so, sure, sure. Now, now you will give me my fucking survivalist thing back. Now you'll give it back. At the time, I don't. Oh, my God. Well, at least it'll give me a discount when I get my shit. Okay, here, sprint. It really doesn't really feel like you're sprinting. It feels more like a, just a jog. A, a very, very slow jog. All right, can we sell anything? It's not really looking like it. This road guy. That's because of how powerful it is. That can be my big gun killer, whereas these um, little things can help me with the little guys. How much is this for? I don't want to go up. Can we? We could actually go up to, I think, the PNG. Hang on, let me see. Yeah, we could go up to the um, P90, I mean. Why did I say PNG? Who knows? We could go up to the P90 if I really wanted, and frankly, I kind of almost want to. Should we? Yeah, why not? P90. There. Just because the enemies are getting stronger, and it's a better gun. More bullets. I think it shoots slower. No, it shoots about the same. Never mind. But yeah, more bullets, better weapon on the tier list. Has a scope. Why not? Yep, this is working good. Go away. What I w the one downside to this, though, is the grenades. The grenades are just generic. Uh, they're actually not really generic, because technically, um, they're the commando grenades, is what I meant to say. For whatever reason. But the commando grenades are pretty much just generic grenades, in my opinion. They're no there's nothing really that special about them. They're just, they do damage. So, I don't know how I feel. I really, personally, don't really like the grenades for the this class. I wish you could, you know, choose them, but then that might be a little bit too overpowered. That might be a little bit too customizability. Personally, I'd like it, but I could see some potential balancing issues that could occur from that. This class in itself could already be overpowered in the right hand, so... You know, I understand why they did it. Is that a... Is that an actual... Oh, yeah, it was. That's uh, a flesh pound. I was wondering why it was so loud. Just a loud-ass roar out of order. <sighs> no, that wasn't the noise it made. That was just terrible is what that was. Uh, so far, I have genuinely no complaints about this class. It's working out pretty well. Can you die? Oh, boy. Okay, here's a complaint. Oh. Well, never mind. We actually made it. I was going to say damage output, but then again, even if that was the case, really, that's not the class's fault. That's my own fault for not having big guns at the moment. Once I have the railgun, I'm sure I'll be able to do big damage. Because that's the plan, big damage. I'll just have to be, you know, a little bit more tactical and shoot for the head. Because I always did really like the railgun with the sharpshooter, and the sharpshooter class wasn't bad. I just feel solo. The class itself is very hard to play, in my opinion, anyway. And in my hands. Who knows, some people might be great with it. It could have also been that one map we played, who knows. We'd have to do more testing. But I'm just, at the moment, giving one class a map chance. If you guys want me to play, you know, just standard killing floor, let me know. I will. But... For the most part, other than research, I'm mainly just sticking with custom maps. I'm playing standard Killing Floor and Killing Floor 1 at the moment. Not recording it yet, but I really should, frankly. It should probably start. I will. I plan to, actually. I was going to kind of leave it as a secret, but it's been long enough. It's not really a secret anymore. Oh, Or, well, you know, I feel it shouldn't be a secret anymore, really. I just might as well build the hype now, if you know what I mean. Oh god. I want to get all the achievements in Killing Floor 1, so that's the plan. And then, once Killing Floor 1's complete, we can do the same for this. That was the plan, anyway. Spitballing, basically. 
If you guys don't like the sound of that, let me know now ahead of time. And I won't do that, but that's what I'm planning to do at the moment. All right, let's see. How much more we got? We got a good chunk. Uh, not really enough for the railgun yet, which is unfortunate. What can we get here? Anything else, really? I could probably have afforded the railgun had I not bought the P90, but I bought it, so there we go. Also, if you hear me making noise, I'm sorry, I do have hiccups. I don't know why. We went out to dinner today, and whenever we seem to go out to dinner, I just fucking have hiccups afterwards. I don't know why, I just do. Something about food sometimes, I swear. Oh, extra money. <laughs> Free money, yay. I don't know if we're going to use this or not. I might. It's tempting, but... Yeah, I'll just use it in the beginning. Unless we start to see the, um... <clears throat> the, uh... Oh, yeah, I don't like... Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. Let's just take out the SMG for the time being. I fear flesh pounds are coming. Well, if we're at range like this, I'm not... Oh, okay. There's multiple flesh pounds. This could be a problem. Gee, oh, okay, it's mad. It's mad. Run. Run, 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 run. Go away. Go away. Yeah, yeah, punch me away. Fuck. Okay. 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 I miss them fighting each other rather than me. Oh, I'm, I am fucked. I'm fucked. Wait. Can we please get out of the corner? Oh, no, there's no way. I'm dead. No! No! God damn it. Ugh. Fuck. A stalk How did the stalker get the kill and the flesh pound didn't? What the fuck? Alright, well, I didn't beat it. But I do think it's genuinely a good class. It's just, you know. First of all, I'm not a high enough level for what I feel would be a good combo. Um, that combo, of course, as I said, being uh, the railgun and then some SMGs for, uh, you know, lesser enemies. But I feel like I'm not high enough level. But that being said, I think it is definitely a good class. There's a lot of customize, customizability options here. Customize, yeah. <sighs> Customizing options we could do here. The bad thing about this class, looking at it here, is that um, there is no, it doesn't seem there's a discount on any of the weapons, which can be a bit of a problem. You know, because as you saw, we we took a, it was wave seven. We still didn't have the rail gun, so that could be one downside to this class. Just as you can see here, there are uh, well, maybe not actually. Maybe there is, and I just didn't realize. I don't know, or maybe they just took it out period from this game because I'm not seeing anything here at all. Huh? I could have sworn they used to have said something like um, discount. I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, so I just realized I'm over the cap for level 1 support. Why haven't I leveled? Huh? <laughs> the fuck? Why is this a thing? Tripwire? Is it bugged? <laughs> anyway, though, guys. Um, so that's my overall thing is Survivalist is a very customizable class. And in the right hand, it could be very good. Honestly, I think with some more time with it, this could actually be the kind of class for me. I think it would be a good class, but uh, we are sticking with SWAT because, well, we started SWAT already, and frankly, you know, I don't really like to leave things uncomplete. I tend to be a completionist with a lot of my stuff. Not always 100% completionist, because, you know, sometimes I just, you know, I get tired of it, but it takes a very long time for me to get tired of something. So I plan to get this to the highest level. And then we'll focus on the other classes bit by bit, just like we plan to do in Killing Floor 1. So, yeah. But for now, guys, that's my opinion of Survivalist. But like I said, throughout this video, let me know if there's any problems right away. If I don't catch them in editing. Because I'm paranoid. So, yeah. This has been Zokran, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video stream or wherever the fuck you find me. Bye, guys.